Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 66. So, uh, today's episode is I'm going to take it to the Mac side of everything. Uh, I've been doing a lot of PC lately on my channel, and why not do some Mac stuff? I do have some talent, hidden talent, on uh, doing some design stuff. Uh, I'm not like a guru on it, but uh, I know how to get myself around it. So, uh, today's episode, I want to show you guys how to create a fake sunglass sunglasses reflection. Uh, I got a cool picture right here of my stepdaughter. Um, like all kids, they like to take pictures and post stuff up on Facebook. And uh, the only reason that I took this picture is because um, it has her in glasses. Uh, I removed all the background, created another layer, black layer and um, I just made a copy of the background and just removed all the nonsense on the background and just made it black so I'm gonna hit uh, Z for zoom so I can zoom in and I could get into the to the glasses portion because this is where all the magic is gonna happen so what I wanna do is I need to select the glasses okay so once you have your picture already modified and edited, you zoom into the portion of the glasses and you want to do a quick selection, which the shortcut would be W. Make sure that the layer is highlighted and you basically just want to select around the glasses. Now, as you see, the quick selection that I made kind of selects uh, some of the glasses. With, I'm using CS5, so if you go to the select and redefine the edge, it gives you this nice little dialog box that you could basically play around with the just edge uh, features. So if you mess around with the shift edge until you get something that you want, try to smooth it out as much as possible. Uh, play around with the feather, that's like a little too much. I recommend try to do something a little lower than that. That looks pretty good. Um, let's do a little smooth. See how smooth is that? I'll go all the way. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's give it. Uh, again, you guys have to play around with the settings until you figure out what you you want. Um, I can't really tell you. You got to use this number, this number, or this number to get um, you know the the perfect redefined edge press OK and that looks pretty good than before now the next step is pretty easy um, you open up a picture that you want to reflect on the sunglasses I open up my logo so I'm gonna do a command A to select everything and then the command C to copy it and then I'm gonna go back into the picture now uh, layer one is still selected because that's the picture of of my stepdaughter, and then um, glasses are still selected. So now, if I go to edit, special paste, and I paste into, the image that I copy is going to paste it inside of the selected area. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to zoom out, and this is basically what I got. Now, if you play around with the setting modes, I, for me to get that nice little reflection feature that I was trying to look for, I did the pin light. And then if you want, you can modify the opacity into your liking. Uh, I would say... I would get about 71%. Again, I started, you know, the glasses already had clear lenses. So you're trying, to, you're trying to match the reflection like she's basically looking at something with the logo. Other than that, that's about it, guys. That's how you would create a, um, a fake reflection on sunglasses. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment below as well as the Revy Top. There's a subscribe button. Just click on that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware. And um, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.